Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Wednesday, so we're going to be doing the starts and sits for the Thursday night football matchup. So we're going to start off with the line for the Thursday night football game. So we got an over-under of 54.5 points, so a pretty healthy total there. Definitely has a chance to hit the over, but it could also hit the under. So not super excited about betting that one. But then we have the Rams as a 2.5 point road favorite. So this is really intriguing especially since I consider these teams pretty even overall. So the fact that Seattle's the home team and their two and a half point underdogs is really interesting. Maybe you bet against the Rams in this one. And then for the implied point totals, we have about 29, 30 points for the Rams and about 24, 25 points for the Seahawks. So pretty healthy scoring there. Once again, the Rams, you know, about four touchdowns and a field goal, give or take, or three touchdowns, a couple of field goals. Seahawks mainly looking like three touchdowns, one field goal. We'll just have to see what ends up happening. And though, definitely an intriguing game. Definitely a pretty good high scoring game on both sides. And then we'll get moved over to the starts and sits. We got the Rams starts and sits for this one. We got Matthew Stafford. He's going to be a start. Seattle's secondary is not the best in the league by any means. So Matthew Stafford start most weeks, definitely a start this week. Daryl Henderson, the Seattle run defense has been pretty bad as well, so he's the number 12 running back in my rankings this week. Definitely think it's going to be a very good game for him once again, as long as he stays healthy throughout the contest. Cooper Cup is a start, pretty simple there. We've seen him be awesome so far, three out of four weeks this year at least. And then Robert Woods, you know, he's kind of been up and down. He got the touchdown last week, but I think you can still roll him out there. It's a very good matchup in general. Van Jefferson. If you really need like a wide receiver three, a flex play, if you're kind of desperate in that area, Van Jefferson's all right to roll out. If not, then just don't roll him out at this point in time. Tyler Higby, you can start. He's either the number 11 or number 12 tight end in my rankings this week. So if you're in a 12 team league, definitely an option to start him unless you have somebody that's clearly better. And then we have the Rams defense. So they are a pretty good defense in general, but Seattle has a pretty good offense. So they're going to be a set for me this week. I believe they ended up being probably about 14 or 15 in my rankings. Matt Gay, the kicker, you can play as well. I think both kickers are going to be in play in this contest. Then on the Seahawks side, we have Russell Wilson. You're going to start him up. I know he's kind of struggled at times against this Rams defense, especially towards the end of last season. So we'll just have to see if that pans out. But you know, early on this season, especially if Chris Carson doesn't play in this game, he's going to be able to throw the ball. He's going to have to throw the ball. So definitely a guy that you want to start this week. Just temper your expectations a little bit, given his history against this Rams defense. Then that kind of moves into the next one, which is Chris Carson. He's going to be a set for me this week unless he ends up playing. If he ends up playing, he still might end up being a set as well just because he's banged up with that neck injury. You never know what's going to happen on any given play. Alex Collins, though, he is going to be a start if Chris Carson misses. If Chris Carson plays, then obviously you're going to set him once again. Then DK Metcalf, he's a start. I know everybody's kind of afraid of the matchup with Jalen Ramsey, but Jalen Ramsey has not been shadowing quite as much this year, so could favor DK Metcalf a little bit in there. He's kind of a play that I like, especially like in DFS for this slate. Then Tyler Lockett, obviously, if he's not getting that Jalen Ramsey coverage and DK is, he's going to be definitely in play a monster, probably going against Darius Williams. I do like Tyler Lockett quite a bit as well this week. So they're both going to be starts for me. Then we move over to Gerald Everett. Last I've checked, he is still listed on the COVID list. If he ends up playing, you could probably stream him this week. If he doesn't end up playing, you're just going to sit him. But probably just better off to sit him altogether, especially coming off that COVID list, if he even does play. Will Disley, obviously he's going to be a sit if Gerald Everett does play. If Everett doesn't play, then he's still probably going to be a sit, let's be honest. Seahawks defense haven't looked too pretty this year, so they're going to be a sit as well. And then Jason Myers, like I already talked about with Matt Gay, both kickers are in play in this game, especially considering it's going to be a high-scoring game, or at least that's what Vegas is telling us right now at this point in time. But with that being said, that's the quick little rundown on the starts and sits for the Thursday night football matchup. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed If there's any other questions you have regarding starts and sits related to this matchup, please leave them down in the comments below. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your fantasy football, helping you with DFS, whether it's NFL or NBA. Talking all the different NFL news, there's some good ones today. Jalen Smith released. Stephon Gilmore released. Anthony Miller, not quite as big of a name compared to those two, was released by the Texans as well. So 
definitely some interesting free agents that are going to be out there on the market. We'll see where they end up and what happens with them. Honestly, with Stefan Gilmore, I assume he's just not healthy if the Patriots are releasing him at this point since he did start the year on the pup list. And with that being said, if you are new or current subscribers yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Tomorrow's Thursday, so it'll be the Thursday night football single game showdown slate for both DraftKings and FanDuel, talking over my player pool, my favorite captain picks, and building a couple of lineups together. But one little shout out before I get out of here, I am wearing my new Sports Me t-shirt. Obviously, Sports Me is an app. It allows you to connect with other sports-minded folk. So whether you're a novice fantasy player, whether you just love sports, whether you are a quote-unquote expert or analyst, it allows you the chance to connect with other people, other people that may be like-minded, other people that may be not so like-minded. You can have discussions, debates, and just share short videos back and forth. Definitely a great experience. I definitely would recommend it. I've been posting at least one video on there a day just to engage in conversation with different people. See everybody's thoughts. Uh, Yesterday's topic was about Trey Lance. How much waiver wire budget would you spend on him? What's his ceiling for the rest of the season? And is Jimmy Garoppolo ever going to make another start for the San Francisco 49ers? A lot of those questions will be answered in the coming weeks, but I just want to see everybody else's thoughts and opinions on that as well. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.